Well, welcome back to part two of uh, Might and Magic Six. Um, I made a few mistakes in the last uh, in the last one, um, but most importantly, I left an unidentified ring um, back in a chest over here. I completely missed the fact that it was there uh, and walked off without it. So let's see if it's still there. I don't know. It is indeed, but I still can't identify it. But at least we've got that thing now. All right, so we're heading into um, the abandoned temple outside New Sorpigal. This was a temple of Bar that was abandoned um, by uh, by the temple after it was overrun. There's some sort of curse attached to it or something. Um, and we've been sent in to retrieve some MacGuffin uh, for the temple. I don't know why we're inclined to be doing them any favors, given that they've been established as the most cartoonish of... of villains in the most unsubtle and unambiguous way. But I guess it's just the rules of one of these games that someone gives you a quest, you just do it. Well, let's go in there and see if we can fetch it anyway. We don't necessarily need to hand it over. Um, let's head in. The foul curse caused the old inhabitants to move away. Indeed. Right. And we're faced with a room of bats. Let's try and get some of those with arrows before they get too close. Oof. Okay, let's see. Spell. Hmm, that did less damage than the arrow probably would have. Oh, goodness me. Okay. We should be okay here. Let's see. We can uh, heal. And... So most of the time we'll be trying to maintain a, 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 a decent distance between us um, and enemies. But in this case, just entering, we don't really have the option. So let's see how it goes. Oh, poisoned. Yeah, that guy um, is clearly now poisoned or something. Diseased. Not quite sure what to do with that. Maybe we can find something back in uh, in the village. Uh, that'll help us there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll just, just keep plugging them with arrows there. Let's see if we can t just take the rest out. And... Oh, right. He's going pretty low now. There we go, okay. So, alright, so we are in a temple with stained glass windows and things. I don't quite know where those windows look out on. It looks as though there's some stuff sitting around. What have we here? Okay, another chain mail. I don't think that's necessarily that useful for us here. A barrel of green liquid. Hmm, what do we think that will do? Well, let's try a diseased guy. Um, because it can't be any worse for him. Let's see. Oh, that was an endurance book. Okay, so it was just a single um, single use. And we've got yellow liquid here as well. Let's try... That's accuracy. Okay. Oh, we have more. Oops. Okay, just use those bow skills against these guys and hopefully... They don't even get that close. Yeah, there we go. That's not too bad at all. Uh, what else do we have in here? Have a fireplace with not much going on around that. Uh, some, this is some sort of a mace. Yep, just a regular mace. And we have here more chainmail that we don't really need. Between episodes, I did go and sell some uh, vendor uh, vendor trash and stuff. Uh, just because I thought it wouldn't make particularly interesting viewing. Oh, come on. Not in the corner. Oh, there we go. Right, we've got a couple of side um, doors here with interesting hissing sounds coming out of. Uh, that's a, yep, snakes. Let's head up there. I am playing this double speed, by the way. You probably noticed. Uh, but it's running pretty fast. Um, and when we get into the into the large, sort of samey parts of the dungeon, I'll probably speed it, speed it up even faster in post. Let's see if we can keep these out of the way. Damn. We're not doing too well on the, the keeping them at a distance thing here. Oh, he's really getting low on 
It's death now. Uh, let's see. Okay, it seems um, right. Some of the spells give them a, have a bit of recoil to them. That's nice. Uh, that might be make them use more useful uh, in uh, some situations than arrows. Oh, great! Someone else is diseased. Damn it! Okay, there's one down. Come on! Oh well, she is actually now completely down. Well, hopefully, the rest will be able to make an exit and she is in some way revivable. Well, I'm not really sure how this is going to play out. Let's see. Yeah, um, we're really getting hammered here. I expected the first few encounters inside the door to at least be somewhat straightforward, that just to ease us into it a little bit. But it appears to not be the case. Yeah, it seems quite punishing. But that's okay. We can deal with a punishing game. Okay, one more. We can do this. Most of my magic users are running pretty low on, um, on mana anyway, so we'll probably have to return pretty soon. Uh, regardless. Oh, come on. Just let's hit this. Guy and we'll be all right. Okay, running away, perfect, ideal for us. So we basically cleared one room here. Um, oh, what we should do? Oh no, that sorcerer is incapacitated. But I was going to say we should have used wizard eye there to see where enemies were. Let's see if we can uh, do some sort of revive here. I think up there, oh, there's some goblins walking around on the roof of that building, but I think this is a, yeah, this is a temple, let's see. So we can heal at the cost of a little gold, and that is mighty convenient because we are now pretty much ready to go right back in there. Okay, let's check a, take a look at the side room down here. Just opened. Anything else still in there? Yes, there is, because I didn't cast Wizard Eye. That was foolish. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not good at this. Right. Uh, 10 damage. Oh, poisoned. Great. Yeah, I think we're going to need some sort of a pure poison. Let's see if we can cast Wizard Eye. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I see there are quite a few things it's still on that left hand room there. Let's go back to that to normal speed. It can lure one or two of them out. Yep, yeah, we can. There they come. King Cobra. Well, this one looks uh, like it has a lot more health. Still a few more hits like that will be okay. Yeah, we're not particularly resilient, it seems. This guy especially can do a pretty hefty amount of damage in a hit. Still. Oh, wow. Oh, well, almost got him. Come on. I think we're going to make it... Oh, yeah, he's down because I foolishly didn't heal. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to take another one of those guys out. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can do some damage, and we can always run it's right behind us. Put our healer out of the picture. We have a slight issue here. Yeah, that's two out. Down. Come on, one more. There we go. And back we go to the temple. I think this is going to be a costly expedition. I don't think we're going to necessarily break even on this one. Not from the small amounts of stuff that we're collecting off these uh, boxes. Not be with you. 
but hopefully we can um, level our skills up a little bit in the in the process and become a little more capable here. Uh, right, there's one more thing left in that left-hand room, it looks like. Ugh. Let's go up the stairs. Should be fine, there we go. Okay, we've got something else on the other side of this door here. One turn up says that section's clear, but then we've got two side rooms here that are almost certainly going to be infested. I hear sounds. Let's see. Uh, spiders. Okay. I'm going to try and wait for the bad, bad AI to negotiate the corner there, rather than just pushing itself into the side of the room that doesn't have an exit. The AI in this game, kind of equivalent to your average um, housefly. Oh, I don't actually see the. Oh, we killed it. That's why. Let's put more in there at least. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, no, we're just getting poisoned completely. Here. Uh, there's one more. Come on. Go. I'm going to turn the brightness up on this a little bit. It's a little dark. A little bit of gold there that will come in useful for the healer's bills. And then this side room as well. Which has also some spiders. Let's see if we can lure them out somehow. Come on, yep. Nope. Alright, we may need to readjust our strategy a little bit here. I think these guys are not quite as bad as the uh, snakes that we just fought anyway. Well, so far, we've not really found anything that we can use in terms of equipment. Hopefully there'll be a little more good loot further in. Okay, what is that? Let's see, whoops. Aha! Uh, just a very not useful um, spear. Right, so just drunk in that side. Drunk in a lot of pain. Let's see what we've got through here. Let's see something moving. We're clipping through the wall. Okay, it looks like we got more snakes or something. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, there's more, there's more. Should be careful. Goodness me. Well, if you ever wanted to watch someone play a game badly, you can to the right channel. Heal you. Okay, our wizard eye seems to have expired. Let's recast that. Uh, that is not the key. So we have another couple still in this room here. If we can climb that, is it, uh, clean those those couple of rooms. I think going back to town might be a good idea after that. Before everyone dies. 
Ach. Well, I see why they abandoned the temple. I mean, the most welcoming of places. Anything else interesting in the corner here? Oh, we have a number of uh, pieces of useful stuff. Okay, let's just... Uh, lodge back. Okay, let's just save in case we're going to get... Uh, okay, what do we have here? A book. I don't know. A book of learning. Hmm. Ah. Protection from poison. Ah, now that might be very useful here. Ah, uh, that's a body magic uh, spell, which okay. means that a cleric there can use it. We have a long dagger, 2d3. Anyone using a dagger? I think she is. Yeah, okay, so that's not great for a dagger there. Not that our sorcerer is using much uh, of the dagger. Um, a bucket with a piece of alchemical ingredient then, okay. Aha! Generic staff. Barrel of yellow liquid. Didn't they already have yellow? I think yellow was endurance or accuracy. Yellow was accuracy. Okay. And then we've got a chest here, and our guy who would normally disarm chests is incapacitated. So let's just risk opening it. Yeah. Well, someone is actually dead now. That's not good. I'm going to just reload that because that was a mistake. We'll have to come back to that. Let's head back to the temple. Get some revives. There are, there's apparently a difference in this game between unconscious and dead, which I wasn't aware of, or I'd forgotten. I'm going to have to be quite careful about that. Can we assist you? I imagine being dead is not something that the temple can assist with. Now, hopefully, our Paladin's Disarm skill will get us into this chest. What? 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 There's something in there. No in that. Where the heck did that come from? Well, that was weird. Okay, uh, right, character one, chest, there we go. Ah, it's the candelabra. Perfect. Well, we can go now and hand this in and see if we can benefit from this relationship that we seem to be uh, building with a doomsday cult that is trying to take over the world. I'm not entirely sure why we're doing that. Okay, so it's this guy, and over Pop Bellow. Let's see what he will give us if we hand that in. Well, a thousand gold. I'll take that. Uh, okay. Let's see. One of these will give us a might boost, won't it? This one? Oh, that's spell points. Oh, that's hit points. Hmm. Maybe we still have the might boost from last time. I'm booking us at all. Well, we have a lot more of this dungeon still to explore. So even though we've done the quest, uh, maybe I'll just venture a little deeper to see what's around this uh, this corner here. Well, it looks like it's a quite a long passageway, in fact. Uh, some red dots. Okay. We should be able to keep these at the distance here. Well, that didn't work so well. Back. We can really use a light spell or something because most of this action is happening in the shadow. I'll look into that. Ok, 
Okay, so what do we have? Through this twisty turn. Oh, more bats. We are missing an awful lot. I think we need to work on our accuracy for sure. Or maybe it's the bow skill that we need. Okay, let's do some spells. You can heal him. Save. I hope there's something down the end of this tunnel that makes this worthwhile. A large cave. Okay. I guess this is quite large. Uh, well, it's such a temple as a large war in the caves with a temple on the front. Go. None of those got anywhere close to us. Ideal situation there. Oh well. And tons more. Got spiders, bats, and all sorts here. It's a bit more distance between us. And I'm gonna really don't do not want to get surrounded there. I'm trying to fire arrows into the wall. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oops, that is not the key that I wanted. more things on radar. I really can't see them on the screen, but they are there. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, nearly got it. And more poison or disease. Perfect. There's something going on over here with things that are sparkling. What is that? There seems to be some sort of a spark trap or something. What's in the middle there? It's a chest. Okay, so we have a chest that's emitting sparks on a regular pattern. I think we can get close to that. Got it. There we go. Oh, lots of gold. Okay. So that's a few hundred gold there. We got a cloak, our first one. I don't know. Uh, can't identify that. We're going to work on identifying a little more. A cure wounds potion, always useful. Uh -huh. A cutlass. Hmm. That might be an upgrade. Uh -huh. And a battle axe. Does anyone use axe? Because that's plus two battle axe. And yeah, it seems if we just avoid those sparks, we're pretty much okay. There, that's nice. All right. So I'm going to head back out there because that seems like a good place to, uh, to take a break. We've done the quest. There's other stuff to explore here, but we'll do that in another part. Okay, so if we just lag it back here. We'll see if we can level up. Actually, can we see stats right yeah, somewhere. Okay, the fact that these are green I think means we can level up. Reputation minus 200 bad. I guess handing in that thing to the Temple of Bar Acolyte was probably a mistake after all then, since our reputation seems to be negative. It's closed. Uh, we have opening times and this place is not open. So, I reckon... I bet the temple is closed as well, isn't it? Yeah. Well, realistic, if inconvenient. Hello, 
Maybe we can stay in a room. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but that guy here still needs a cure, so... There we go. And let's see if we can level up. How about some training? Yep, looks like they all qualify okay. to get to level okay. 4. Okay. Okay. Characters' uh, experience is, is, is separate, which means that some characters will level up faster than others if they're putting down more enemies or doing things that, you know, if they're gaining XP faster. Which is, I think, going to become a little annoying, but we'll see. Right, uh, and let's try and sell some junk as well. Uh, don't need that dagger. Definitely don't need that staff, that spear, or that mace. I don't know. Uh, we can get this cloak identified, hopefully, in town as well. Uh, we'll have to see if anyone uses an axe, or if that cutlass is an improvement. We can't sell chain mail to a blacksmith. You have to sell it to an armorsmith. Here we go. Um, so, let's know. see, can we get this identified? 75 gold pieces to identify it. Now, let's do it. A phantom cloak. A plus three cloak, okay. Well, who has the lowest armor? Um, and it looks as though it's a sorcerer, so really the cloak. Should go to her. There we go. And now she has the best armor. Perfect. We really need to figure out. I think that reputation thing is something we need to be more aware of. Because I did not realize that doing certain quests uh, reduced reputation. Hey, I was even joking about it and then I still did it anyway and it came back to haunt me. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's not do that again. Uh, and yes, what else did we have just uh, in the inventory there? Oh, we still have an unidentified ring. Is there somewhere we can identify that thing? Nope, our armorsmith won't do it. I think there's a magic shop around here, maybe? Yeah, here we go. I don't know. Okay, that is a sparkling ring that does nothing. So I guess we can sell that. Uh, we also have this ring that does very little, and we can sell that. And then we just need to make sure that axe can't be used by anyone before selling that. Oh, actually, we should do this as well. 2d4 versus 3d4. We'll sell the, the, the whatever it is, the cutlass there. Battle axe, nope. Can a mace wielding guy wield an axe? No, I think it's a separate skill. So they are both good to sell as well. Anything we can buy here that looks any good. Ah, oh, well, there's some very nice daggers here. A 2d3 plus 4 piercing dagger. It's certainly a, another upgrade for our... No, I'm, I'm going to leave that on the shelf because I don't think our sorcerer actually needs um, the merchandise. A, a whole lot of melee power. Uh, but we do have some plus 6 armor. That might be useful. Some Endurance plus four. Armor of Vigor. We've got Gauntlets here of Poison Resistance. Um, that would be extremely useful. At this point, Luck, Speed, a Speed Hat. All right, let's buy the, let's see. Who's been getting poisoned most? This guy? I think a Cleric could do with the Gauntlets of Poison Resistance. We'll definitely pick up a couple of leather armors there because they are improvements for anyone and the armor of figure as well so we get out of our bad stock armor so we'll put the let's see the endurance who would be best served with better endurance and where do i find out what endurance does Okay, it's just more hit points. Right, so who has the lowest hit points? Uh, they're all basically equivalent, except the guy wearing chain, and he's not in the running. So, let's just give that to him. 
There. There. And then we can sell crummy armor back. And then, oh yes, we also have the gauntlets. There we go. So I think we'll go back in um, to the abandoned temple next time. But I th I'll, I'll park it here for now. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next episode.